by milk uh, for some of the boys who have to travel long, long distances to come to school. So you can imagine a thousand young boys there, maybe they'll have to um, a sip of this milk. We had great fun last year, as um, Sue will tell you, um, on doing a particular project in the nursery. Um, at these primary schools, we won't be uh, only building um, toilets and ablution blocks in 2011. We started off with classrooms and libraries, but now we've gone down to the nature of the to the um, toilets. So we'll be digging those next year. Uh, but also we'll be um, playing with the children, dancing with the children, reading with the children, teaching the children, um, and the staff, and meeting with the, what they call the bulk, uh, the Board of Governors, um, and passing on of this uh, um, useful education and training. St. Teresa's Girls High School. That's one of the proudest things uh, that I can talk about this evening. In the 70s, there was just a, a mud hut where two or three of the girls were being taught only. I was a volunteer with DSO in the boys' um, secondary school, and there were about 600 boys there. Um, and it was a small boarding school then, but the girls certainly were treated um, as a second-class citizen. And to a, a large degree, they still are in Western Kenya. Uh, but at least now then, there is a secondary school with an ablution block, um, they've got a boarding section, and they've got decent classrooms with furniture and books. Um, I know I'm not very good at boasting about these things, but that's largely due to the help of people in this room, and the people of uh, Arcadium, and the people of Australian Island in South Wales. So uh, that's the girls' um, high school. Uh, St. Luke's High School for Boys. I knew that as a community RC boys' school, uh, where I taught for over two years in the 70s. Uh, and this school, again, was poorly planned, poorly um, uh, financed, um, and a very poorly built institution. It was built um, on the land given by a village chief um, at that time, and the school was staffed by untrained teachers, um, and they asked for a British Council for two volunteers, and they sent a broad Abadonian and a broad um, Swansea man to come and teach them English. <laughs> Again, the buildings were just mud and wood, no clean water supply, we had to get water from the river as well, no electricity existed, and the attendance rate at the school was very poor, and the exam results were dire. Was a, a failing school as the uh, terminology is today. Today, St. Luke's High School, have, however, has very well modern, uh, well furnished, and well lit classrooms with a regular supply of water um, and ranks very highly in the district in terms of exam results and the number of students who go on to university. When the volunteer groups from Cajun, and there have been 10 altogether, young people and um, not so young people, have gone to community with me. We stay in the teachers' houses and at the school there, and we do our um, building projects and our teaching projects, as I explained, for the primary schools. Over all these years, there have been 150,000 pounds raised, and over 150 people from the Cajun area, mainly uh, ex, uh, you know, uh, year 12, year 13 children from our school, have gone out there and have worked on various projects to develop the school. The second aim of check, however, as the name suggests, is uh, for the sick children of the town um, who may have to attend a small and badly equipped district hospital at Kimberley uh, itself. To say that the conditions there, the facilities there, are very poor and quite dirty is really understating the truth. We visited the children's ward last year. This is a room, um, I would say, uh, like to just think about uh, an eighth of the size of this big hall, quite a small um, children's ward there. It had about 30 beds in it, and many of the beds had two to three children in it at a time. Um, there were assorted chairs, broken chairs, broken tables, broken cupboards uh, in the room as well. Um, and the mothers and the grandfathers, and the uh, fathers and grandmothers, etc., they were either sleeping in the bed with the children, or cooking on stoves um, underneath the beds or in the ward. It was chaos, it was bedlam. Um, the noise level on the stench was unbelievable, were unbelievable. Cajun Overseas Aid Trust um, has helped us to pay for 50 new mosquito nets, uh, photographs of which um, we have um, here, um, to help um, the children not to um, contact malaria. Malaria is a killer uh, out there, as is HIV and AIDS and TB and polio, all of those things have to be contended with uh, in the town, and it is quite a drastic health situation. Sorry, you're going to be frightened, you're not uh, doing that purposely. Um, and we hope to continue with that work in the future. There is a small sick bay in Kennedy Boys Secondary School, uh, where the boys can obtain some basic first aid, plasters and uh, medicinal care of that sort. Um, and what we would like to do, in memory of a, a friend of mine who died uh, a year ago, um, we'd like to um, uh, 
facilitate and uh, provide facilities for um, the boys at the school with a, a few beds in this medical centre which they don't have, medicines and so on. And we're going to name it after Jimmy Fox. It will be the Jimmy Fox Medical Room at Kimberley School. I'm sure that Jim and Keith will be down and be very proud of that. There's been a strong link between Caterham's, I'm almost finished, strong link between Caterham and Kimberley for 26 years now. And I'm grateful to everyone um, in the Caterham area for their support over the years and in the South Wales area as well. Like um, all of this could not have been achieved without the hard work and generous giving of the time, the effort and love by so many people present in this hall and not in this hall as well. It is an honour and um, a source of great delight for me personally to see what began as a small um, BSO project in 1974 to what it went up to in 1984 when we had community children in the Stafford School and at St Mary's School here, at St Mary's Church I mean. And today's registered charity check, of course, is being launched this evening. That's a source of great pride. Please support us in any way you can by um, complete, completing a standing order form, possibly that's in, in front of you there, or by attending any of the fundraising activities as you're doing this evening. And I'll end by saying, as the head teacher of Kimberley Boys School said to me last weekend, I actually uh, can now communicate with him on the phone. Um, he said to me, Patrick Mandilly, he said, Jump up to all our friends in the UK and say we are very grateful for their love and support. May God bless them all.